Ahoy hoy YouTube, or hello nurse. I don't know, it's rotated until I find something that works. I have my green tea here. I have my dinner. That only means one thing. Time to talk about it. Video games. Record YouTube video as well. Also, uh, I'm recording from the Coliseum, as one of my subs said. Uh, it sounds like there's a large echo. I don't know, these weekends I try to record a different uh, location. Undisclosed, of course. Working on the acoustics still. Today's topic. Wii U. You know, we're getting closer to that E3 time, which is in the running for my again. I actually watched one of my videos again. I said the NBA and E3, that's my favorite time of year. Uh, my argument is they're in the same month for me, so it doesn't really matter. But anyway, getting close to E3. There's a lot of... I, I want to say rumors. Some of it is more factual. But the Wii U is the one that everyone's going to be talking about come... I don't know. Ah, uh, once we leave, well not once we, once the media leaves the convention, that's what everyone's going to hear about, and that's what everyone's going to talk about for that matter. It's this console, it's this, no, it's this phenomenon, the Wii itself. So let's just talk about exactly what the Wii U needs to do. Now, upon leaving the convention last year, there were a lot of questions about the Wii U. A lot of it was settled, not, not a lot of it, some people were satisfied after seeing uh, the, Ze the Legend of Zelda gameplay trailer because it actually proved that the Wii U actually has a function and actually has a use. But since time's gone on, I would argue the buzz has pretty much died down. We don't hear about this need for the Wii U since E3. Undoubtedly, the fifth peak was during E3, but I haven't seen a major. Wii news, the uh, Wii U news info dump. It's not happened. Except for this past week where we figured out that Nintendo isn't going to announce, they're not going to announce a price for their console. Now what do I think? I think that's a mistake. I think they need to get out of the gate and release as much, like, overload everyone with the information they have. I, th I suspect around TGS, the Tokyo Game Show, which happens in September, they might have moved it to August, they might have moved it to October, eh, it's been a while since I looked into it. But, this price point is kind of interesting. Um, the first thing that any average gamer, like the hardcore gamer is going to buy it no matter what, but the average gamer, especially for the Wii U demographic, they care first and foremost about price. So, what you need to consider is, the Wii, why, why did the Wii sell? So because a lot of kids, a lot of parents bought the console. That's an important factor to remember. When you hear all this information about a Wii U being released, it's not going to be the parent who's working a job. It's not going to be the 8 year old who's playing the Wii, I assume, maybe Super Mario Brothers or something like that. What needs to be considered is that it's the hardcore gamer for that that's E3. They're gonna make their decision on Wii U map nice knife kill Brandon. Blackbird Uh probably should have introduced the gameplay, but who cares? Black Ops. Everyone knows what it is by now. Um Yeah, that's my point. You need to make sure that the parent particularly the parent knows the price point coming out of it. They're gonna hear a lot about this Wii U CNN, Fox News, everything, all the major media is going to cover it. Magazines will see Wii U. But if a parent's going to buy it for the kid, what they want to see first and foremost is price. Video games is one of those weird, uh, I don't want to say, hey, in industries, that's what I'm looking for, where it's actually kind of recession proof. Video game sales either, they, they pretty much maintained from 2008 to today their sales, if anything, increased. As you saw from a couple of days ago in my video on Skyrim. So, what, what needs to be done exactly for the Wii U to be successful it is a lot of things. And the reason this, I'm posting this video is actually because I read an article over the weekend that two industry analysts didn't expect the 720, the PS4, and the Wii U to outsell the predecessors, the 360, PS3, and the Wii. 
So, just uh, to address that for a moment, uh, when you read that article, it says it doesn't give you exact specifics why they they are not going to outsell the predecessors. But I, I think a lot of the estimation is because the Wii, if you remember the first two years of the Wii, it was this giant media success. I don't uh, maybe it's because it, the Wii isn't isn't a target for me. I don't remember any of those hardcore. Not, I don't want to say hardcore games because obviously that implies it's not my style, but. I don't recall any major games that got released for the Wii that everyone was talking about. There was no Skyrim equivalent. There was no Call of Duty equivalent on the Wii. It was just a bunch of parents buying it for their kids. Remember Christmas time? The Wiis would sell out like the 1st of December and you couldn't get one until late January. That's the type of hype. That's the that's the tickle me Elmo effect for anyone who knows anything about media marketing. That, that creates a lot of buzz, a lot of news. So, that, that's a big part of the chunk of sales that came out from this generation. And there's also that huge drop in sales that we saw from the PS2, and basically got, the gamers got split to 360 and PS3. That's an important factor as well. But if you ask me, it's not going to be that big a drop. It's only a question of how big a phenomenon of the Wii U is going to be. Can it actually uh, outsell the Wii? The 720 and PS3, I argue, are probably going to have the same sales. I don't see any gamers saying, yeah, I'm going out of gaming. That happens, of course. But you also pick up the new momentum of gamers who came from the Wii. And they might join on to the PS4 or 720, or they might go for the Wii U. But here's the fundamental problem that uh, I keep talking about, or I keep trying to get at. The Wii U, it doesn't seem to be this... Uh, I, I want to say, not, revol not revolution, it just seems to be an addition. It seems like, oh, the perfect example the iPhone. iPhone 4, I guess it's completely different than the iPhone 3. I'm not a phone guy, but a lot of people love talking about how major improvement. But the iPhone 4S, I know personally, one person said, I'm not even going to get the 4S. He doesn't have an iPhone here. I'm just going to the iPhone 5. That's kind of what I get from the Wii U. It doesn't seem to be the Wii 2. It's the Wii U. It seems like an addition. I think one of the biggest um, challenges or hurdles they have to get through is the actual controller itself is only uh, applicable. It only works for one console each. So if you have one Wii U, you can only use that screen for one in a multiplayer game once uh, for one player. Video is wrapping up. Wow, great gameplay, Brandon. Great gameplay. You know, a few thumbs up this video really helped me know that there's more than three people watching. You know, comments every so often too. Rates, subscribe, favorites. I want to hear, what do you think? Do you think the predecessors the or the current generation consoles are going to sell, sell the new ones? Tell me in the description, uh, in the comments. Thank you.